Mick Jackson's Bodyguard was released in 1992nd year, although the script about a dark-skinned singer and her bodyguard was created. Then Lawrence Kasdan screenwriter was inspired by singer Diana Ross and it was assumed that she would play the lead role. Her screen partner was supposed to be Steve McQueen, but the actor rejected the proposal. Then the project was temporarily in the background. The idea of the movie was revived Kevin Costner he not only played the role of the bodyguard, but also took over the production of the project. Then began the search for a singer. Among the contenders were Madonna, Janet Jackson, Rachel Marin and Whitney Houston. The performer seemed a controversial and dangerous candidate because she had no experience in the movie. Indeed shooting turned out to be stressful for the artist. She often falsified and failed to cope with the tasks, as a result, some particularly unsuccessful scenes with her participation had to be removed. However, Costner to the last defended the performer to the studio bosses. The movie showed the dangerous but at the same time luxurious life of an American pop star. Celebrities needed a convincing entourage mansion in which the story lived singer, turned out to be the same house where they filmed no less iconic movie The Godfather. In addition, in the 50s there stayed John and Jackie Kennedy. During the filming of the movie Whitney Houston was actively preparing for a wedding with Bobby Brown and was expecting a child. However, work on the detective really shaken the health of the performer and because of the stress she lost a child shooting had to be suspended. The press called The Bodyguard the worst movie in history, and its rating on IMDb still holds at 6.3 out of 10. Then Whitney Houston won a Golden Raspberry for the lead role Costner co-starred with a nomination. At the same time, the movie became a real box office leader in the U.S. and three times paid off at the box office, but most importantly the people's love that outweighed the disdainful attitude of critics. After a while, the singer still married Bobby Brown and gave birth to a daughter. But the pop star had no protector to protect her from domestic violence. In the year 2012, Whitney Houston passed away. Interesting fact after the singer's death, Kevin Costner admitted that Princess Diana wanted to play in the sequel The Bodyguard. The plot was to develop around the protagonist of the first movie he is promoted to the bodyguard of the princess. A love story develops between them. Costner decided that he was not ready to miss such a project and launched it into development. The actor even received in the hands of the first draft of the script it happened just a day before the death of Diana in France.